Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Further strain on Buhari's presidency as air refi echoes northern elders. The recent show off of contractions and acknowledgement of failure by Kaduna State Governor Malam Nassan Hamed Erufai came as a further, further endorsement of the position taken by the Northern Elders Forum, NEF's verdict on the current administration in the era of security and social economic situation in the country. If not for the situ sec if not for the security agencies' prompt intervention, they would have wiped out the entire villages. I also came to apologize for failing to protect you fully. We are doing our best to minimize such incidents. You should continue to forgive us. That was how the Kaduna State Governor conveyed his feeling last Monday when he paid a condolence visit to five villages, including Kwarama in Igamon, Gawa Local Government Council, where more than 50 persons were slaughtered by bandits very early in the morning, a day before. The governor acknowledged that as those that have placed, has been placed in a position of leadership, have the responsibility of protecting those and the people whose, whose lives are in their care, and that he should have done more. He really apologized to the people, showing remorse of what has happened. And this he has shown regarding Buhari's administration, that security has not been taken note of or given focus. Erofi is really not happy with the situation of insecurity in the country. And this has really offended President Muhammadu Buhari. Um, Nigerians, um, Erofi is really not happy because um, Kaduna was hit last week and we know what happened that um, how many states, how many villages, five villages were, were um, five villages were hit by the bandits and over 50 people slaughtered. Now, if the media tells you 50 people, actually know that it didn't, that number is times two or times three. They only give that kind of figure to make it look like the matter is calm, you know, to make it look very like it's not as much as you think. So, people, this is what is going on. Erufa is not happy. And um, funny enough, in a twist, Buhari seemed to not to be happy that um, Erufa is speaking against what happened in his state, the life of people being destroyed, you know. And maybe Buhari feels that Erufa should have just kept quiet and just, you know, behave like nothing is happening. But Erufai has really, really condemned this government, saying that his people should have been well protected and those that have been given opportunity to be in power should protect the lives and property of people. And I, I remember he also gave a declaration that from henceforth they are going to defend themselves and any bandit who comes to any of, his, um, the, any of the villages in his state will have themselves to blame. You know, if the, if the security agents has not um, re responded immediately, the entire villagers would have been wiped out. They would have been wiped out. But guess what? The thing that is most, you know, um, mostly surprising is that the government behave as if nothing is happening. These are people dying. They behave as if nothing is happening. I would have asked if they had feelings at all. But I want to say that they do. Permit me to say that they do. Why do I say that? When Buhari's son, if you remember, had a bike accident, nobody sent him home. He had a bike accident on his own. Buhari left every other thing, every other thing, you know, I can understand is his son. And he went straight to the scene of the incident and he flew the boy immediately abroad for medical, um, medical treatment and what have you. So what are we saying? So your son, you feel for your son. What about others? You feel for your son, yes. What about others? So you don't feel for others. And even when the son came, some northern governors went, printed billboard saying, we miss you, we welcome you. I don't get it. You know, and they were really mocked then, if you remember very well. They were thoroughly mocked. 
So I don't get it. How come your son's life is very important? You consider it to be very important and you acknowledge that is your son is a life of a human being. And you know, and you know, some is issues happen then you know, and uh, I don't want to go into that. So you sending your son abroad because he had a, a bike accident. What about pregnant women? That all they need is a simple surgery to be able to deliver that baby safely. What about people that need um, um, emergency um, um, emergency surgery? Probably they have a bone a bone injury or something. Other people that have accidents in the country. Do you feel for them? I remember when your daughter was to go for her own um, um, painting, whatever her own personal interest. You used the presidential jet. You didn't want her to apply by road. Buhari, this message is for you. What you are doing is if fair. This way they do say correct. He correct. When you get small ear problem, you don't go UK for medical checkup. When you when you sick that time, you know, when you sick, stay abroad for how many, how many months? You won't go abroad. Why you not replicate that same thing for you for, for Nigeria here? Yeah? Why? Every state not gets one international standard hospital, say federal hospital of international standard. Why would they allow our doctors and nurses they travel abroad without looking after them and making sure that they make the health system um, nice so that Nigerians can enjoy what is going on and people will be able to have good medical attention. The other day, please guys, refer to my former news, Barry say, saying that ministers governors should not go abroad for any medical whatever and him and his family now there they go every time as soon as the the, the the bell ring they don't go abroad as soon as they get headache they're deeply you know, straight abroad so who who be the who fits to go through this why you they enjoy um international standard medical um attention I remember when, you know, people were saying, oh, all our doctors and nurses are leaving. You know, they are going abroad for greener pastures. Get what the Minister of Health said. And let them go. We are producing doctors for them. And remember that article also came out saying that we need to employ um, doctors from abroad because our doctors are here and we don't have enough doctors. I mean, I mean, I mean, look at it now. You get something for us. No, you say, you know, you, want, you get something free. So, you know, you won't buy them. You won't buy them dear. You won't buy them dear. Do you know what some of the finest and best doctors and nurses, healthcare professionals in America are Nigerians, not just black, but Nigerians, particularly Nigerians. Some of the finest doctors and nurses in the UK are Nigerians. Some of the finest doctors and nurses in Australia, great nations of the world, are Nigerians. Not just saying black. Or they are Nigerians. We have this caliber, intelligent quality of people, yet we don't take advantage of it. We just allow it to slide by. We just allow it to go without even, you know, considering that these are national treasures and wealth. And let us build it. Let us make Nigeria great. I don't think any these governments they came into into government with the with the with the intention of making Nigeria great, with the intention of turning the country around i don't think so i don't think so because their actions say contrary and totally something else i don't think they came into power saying you know what let us transform nigeria not for not get me wrong i know so they go still teeth they go still chop oh. but chop will clean you not chop not chop stain your mouth now chop clean mouth maybe like say nothing happened do something that when you leave you leave your your footprint in the sand of time and the and nigerians will say when buhari was around the healthcare, healthcare of the country was top of the or was top of the chart, state of the art. When you get the doctors and nurses on ground, there is medication, everything is working, there is oxygen, there is this, there is that. In fact, Nigeria was heaven on earth. In fact, other African countries were coming to Nigeria to seek out medicals for themselves because they know Nigerian nurses and doctors were the best. And they are not underpaid, they are well paid. So everybody loved their job, going to their job. You know, people will work in some states and they'll be owing them five months, six months, doctors and nurses. How do not go how do not go kill, how do not go kill people? How do not go do things without the, without without their hearts being in it? How do not go do like that? Because they are they are not happy to start with. 
So people, this is the state of the country. Erufa is not happy with Buhari, with the killings and um, uh, northern elders are looking at it. I would like you to, I would like to hear your take on this matter. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the nations of the world. Thanks very much for listening. God bless. Do have a good day. Bye.